Hello and happy Saturday out there LinkedIn. I just received the brand new Pico Neo 2 with Toe by Spotlight eye tracking and it's simply phenomenal. This would be the upgrade to the Oculus Quest. You can kind of see the boundary system here. You should be seeing it in real time. I have just basically the in situ fast mode for standing position or sitting position and I will be in the sitting position here so it should automatically go around with that baseline for the ground floor. Really, really awesome. But the thing, some of the incredible improvements on this device at $899 versus $499 for the Oculus Quest. Number one is the display. This has a real 4K RGB display at around 4.1 million pixels versus the Oculus Quest at 2.3, but 1.8 million more pixels. The screen door effect is nearly non-existent. I can barely even notice it at all. And obviously the integrated eye tracking, um, which is obviously made possible because of the Qualcomm 845 um, upgrade. Now these improvements I believe will, will happen in the Oculus Quest 2 and 3, but we may not see a, a particular device like this focused at the Enterprise for $899 with everything included. Now right now it does not have hand tracking capabilities, but as I've referenced in previous videos, if I can do it and with less than three, 400 lines of code, then anybody else can do it. They can do it much better. They can improve on my iterations and they can exponentially make it much better and more functional and on these types of lower cost devices. Now $899, now, this is much different than Facebook, and I, I want to come back to this. This is very important right now for people in, in the industry that are worried about data and privacy. There are many enterprise companies and customers out there and just normal users that do not want to be associated within the Facebook non-existent privacy pyramid. They don't want to have their data there. They don't want to be selling their eye tracking information, their, emo their, their emotive or emotion recognition software. They don't want to be involved in that at all. So if you want to, to essentially integrate an enterprise level solution on an Android device uh, with a Qualcomm 845 and 4K that has many of the capabilities that the Oculus Quest has and many of the other devices out there, this is at the top of my recommendation list. Now one of the one to show you guys today is the um, Tobi 5 point eye tracking at 90 hertz or 90 uh, refreshes per second, re uh, 90 scans per second. And what they're doing is looking at five points on your retina so you can use that as a gaze input for user interaction capabilities. Now this is much more immersive than you, than you might probably and immediately think about because we use our eyes much more than anybody realizes. So the combination of these interactive capabilities of hand, eye, head, and, you know, and head gestures via the six degrees of freedom, this also has a nine degree immersion of the IMU and it has a proximity sensor. So let's jump in right now and look at what this looks like when you jump into the first. Now look how clear this is. Now <laughs> this is, uh, above and beyond any of the other devices, especially the standalone embedded devices out there in the market. And what you can't really see here on the back of this device, it has a 3.5 millimeter power point so you can extend this out if you wanted to uh, essentially have a non-wireless solution. There's a power point here, there's a USB point here, and there's three buttons on the side where you can interact with these capabilities. A bunch of different settings at the top here, and they do have a streaming assistant, like I said, over a 5G router that they have on their website, and they, they'll essentially illustrate and, and give you a bunch of step-by-step -step instructions to set that up. I did test it. Again, it's at less than 20 milliseconds, especially if you make this device the only one on the network, okay? What I wanted to show you guys is the Pico eye tracking. So let's go ahead and select this here. And it should come up right away. So I wanted to go in. I've already uh, calibrated it, which is very similar to the HoloLens 2. And you can actually look at this device very similar to the HoloLens 2 ergonomics, where the battery pack, the power compute is all in the back. It's incredibly comfortable. And this actually flips up here in the front like this and flips back down. Uh, again, a, a rarity in the industry. So let's go into the eye tracking component here. And I'm going to put my controllers down. And I'm going to look up. I'll look left. I'll look right. I'll look down to the middle right there in the middle, left, down left, the bottom, bottom right, up a little bit. Now look at the accuracy of that. I've only calibrated it one time. And that's why I, I continue to maintain that stereo pass-through uh, capabilities in these types of mixed reality or spatial computing devices in the future, as long as we get the photon to eye latency to less than 10 milliseconds, will become the standard. I know everyone is talking about the new Apple eyeglass. They're downgrading all the capabilities because it's going to you know, improve and or replace 
certain you know you know people with eye conditions and that's going to be tremendous i mean they're going to sell hundreds of millions of devices just because of that alone right but if we're looking at i would say the next generation of spatial computing devices i still maintain the vario type device where you have dual 4k external cameras providing that 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 uh, ability to overlay digital content, the, the, the blending of photons and atoms in the real world, I think that is going to be the next level of these types of devices. But this is incredible. I've already started playing with some of the, the elements in the UI for some of the existing applications that you can just port over to this. And I, I highly recommend that anybody who has not tried the Toe by Spotlight Eye technology or this new Pico Neo 2, um, at about $899. They do sell a, a version of this at $699 without the eye tracking, but I highly recommend it again because it, it brings all of these individual components together with you know, with these with these controllers. Now, some people say, hey, I'm not a huge fan of these controllers. I quite like them, actually. I know they can, everything has an improvement level and a variability there. Obviously, they can be improved a bit, but if they can interact and, and develop and improve hand tracking um, in that we've seen in the, in the recent firmware updates of the Oculus Quest into this platform, the enterprise market will explode. There is a growing segment of companies out there, exponentially, that do not want to be involved in the Oculus Facebook data platform at all. So this is, is, is an opportunity for you companies out there to buy and integrate certain types of development platforms uh, for your own company inside for your R&D labs uh, to, to essentially iterate and improve training, um, you know, even, even remote support capabilities, all this kinds of stuff where you have maybe customers, uh, you know, like Zero Light, they were using Spotlight technology like this to see where customers are looking when they're trying to buy a new Audi, right? So some customers are only looking at the rims. So they're only looking at the engine. They're only looking at the interior of the car so that the, the manufacturer knows where they need to focus their marketing efforts in order to increase profitability and, uh, and return on investment, ROI. That's incredibly important in today's day and age. This information gives you those that ammunition to go out there and to not just try to sift through the, the limitless amount of information that's out there, but to use it more effectively and efficiently for your organization. I mean, in this day and age, and, and post-COVID-19, everybody's going to become more competitive, and these types of data streams will enable you to be more successful in those initiatives. So let's just come back to the main screen. Now, it's very bare bones at this point, but we still have a file manager. It's very easy to get information off of here. Again, the streaming assistant is there. You also have a tow by mirror, which kind of goes, you can show you like, hey, this is what your eyes look like. You know what? Let's go ahead and... and, and bring that up just so you guys can see what it looks like here when you bring it on so you can left eye right eye i can move my head it knows where i am in space and, and, and one of the other things i wanted to touch on which is the difference versus the oculus quest is they're tracking these via orthogonal electromagnetic waves right you can choose the channel channel one channel two channel three channel four channel five all the way up to channel 20 and the difference is there's a higher level of tracking capabilities when the light is low. So the Oculus Quest, when the light is low, 100 nits, 80 nits, 60 nits, uh, the, the cameras are using those external cameras to track your hands. And you'll notice that when you move them out, that you actually can't track the information very well. It starts to disappear. Look, these are, this is behind my head. This is, there's only two cameras in front. This is literally behind my head. So if I'm striking things in a first person uh, you know, FPV game, I don't have to worry about that tracking. You don't need cameras on the rear of the device. And that is simply next, that's the next transformative um, you know, iteration of these types of virtual reality crossover devices. Look at that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and just, just say right now, wink, wink, that's awesome. So please go out and try this today. If you have any questions about the Pico Neo 2, you can reach out to me and I can put you in, you know, in touch with the people that are, that are providing these devices a proof of concepts out there. But thank you so much for tuning in on this Saturday. I hope you got something out of this presentation. Have a wonderful day.